Burning some Palo Santo. Turn this down a little bit. Man, I'm in rare form today, my dudes. <laughs> my dog ate my M2. Uh, he didn't eat the M2. He, uh, I th to, and, and, to his defense, I think I had some bacon grease still on my fingertips because I, uh, I ate at uh, Betty's Diner. Uh, it's a really cool diner in Polson, uh, Polson, Montana, obviously. And uh, I think there was some bacon grease on that box because I touched it um, as I was getting back into the car and I had some leftovers, so he got those too. But uh, yeah, so I never opened one. I guess I still haven't opened one also opened it so uh i'll show you guys that one but uh um yeah man rare form yeah i was uh burning some palo santo trying to get some good energy poured myself some pendleton uh <laughs> i uh i made coffee yesterday if you guys saw that but uh you know that's you know it's kind of me kind of who i am i guess you know i I drink whiskey and coffee and collect die casts. So, uh, yeah, man, got to go hunting today. Kind of broke a rule by going on Saturday. I think I'm going to go back to not shopping on Saturday. It's just because it's it's a cluster and um, it seems like the pegs are always a little thinner uh, on Saturday. So, um, so I'm going to get to that. Though, I found a number of things. And with that... Um, I think I might have jinxed myself because I, I wanted to do something different today. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm coming through with all the Walmart bags, although they work really well for shipping. Um, but I can get some bubble wrap and stuff, you know. But, you know, uh, reusable bags, guys, are a good idea. This is from the homie shop in L.A., uh, Kingswell. DJ, thank you, buddy. Um, but I think with that, with, with, you know, going into the joint with the bag, assuming I'm going to score... Uh, it was a really weird day, so um, I'll run you guys down what I got. Pretty proud. <laughs> I love these Ben's uh, Actoses. If you guys haven't ever got these, they're super good on the track, and uh, the function is cool too. You know the way the. Uh, I'm assuming you know, and versus assuming. I'll show you another one I have. So. You know, just really cool little uh, uh, transporter, but the way it opens. Oh, oh, look at that. That's where that is. All right. Well, now I know. But uh, that was a cool pickup. Another colorway I didn't have. Um, needed one of these. Give you a better look at it. Fenders, man. These things are pretty amazing. If I didn't love Volkswagens and could afford these, that would be the probably the brand. I'd probably be a Rover guy if I could. Who knows? Maybe it's not too late. You know, still rest in peace to Ryu. This thing is so cool. Looks like the Arizona iced tea, right? Right? Is that there's yeah, Arizona iced tea? Well, got a Raging Express today. Good pickup. Ended up uh, actually getting a pair of these. I was going to open one, then decided that I should do a uh, a video. But this tour bus is sick. I've never seen this casting. I don't know if it's new. Um, you guys know more than I. I'm still a noob a decade into this, but it's Batman. Can't really go wrong. Of course, the cool combis were gone, so I, I can't really buy a set. I, I really hate buying them unless there's a whole set, you know? Um, so, I just kept buying the uh, DC Tour Bus. What else I get? Really cool. How to get the Nissan hard body. That's a must. I don't know what year 
because this came out. Oh, this is 2021 casting. But the uh, Cadillac ATS. And then I just found this at O'Reilly's in Polson too. And it's a 2017 release, but it's the Gulf livery, obviously. The 2x2 two two Fastback. Really sick pickup right here. So that was random. And that's that's when I went into the O'Reilly's is when I came back out to uh, my dog eating the 1971 M2. And to keep it M2, picked this up today at Walmart. These things are so sick and the searchlights on the front. They're so rad. Man, I'm M2. I'm, I'm, I'm M2 guy. I'm an M2 guy. You know, my skate background and his Malian sons, you know, I mean, I know it's more surf brand, but uh, it's, it's obviously it's, uh, I can relate to it. And it's just cool AF, yo. I heard these willies are crap to drive though, putting it out there. And I scored another one of these today. Super stoked, so. I don't know, some good, some good trade bait if anybody needs one, you know, um, shame me for buying another one, but, uh, I've given one away. I've got one and now I'll have, have one here. So there that is. And then lastly on the M2 front, I got this Firebird. I love Firebirds and purples. Yeah. It's, uh, I'm super committed to M2 now. Jeez, guys. Um, so that's what I picked up today. I hunted the other day as well. And I uh, found this at O'Reilly's too. Must be a new series, the spoiler alert, track manga. All right. I haven't seen it, 2021, yeah, track manga. I actually got three of these. The Defender's sick. I got a Defender too, but this thing is just right with the teal wheels and the hyper pink bottom. Cool casting. I don't know if I showed you guys the flyby. You know, never seen it before. And time to buy them is when you see them because it won't be there the next day. Another Batmobile treasure hunt. Mustang, F and F got that at AutoZone. Need that for my display, bro. That is so orgasmic. Just crank them open. I really wish the premiums were good on the track, but they're not. Moving on. Stay with the Mustang. Matchbox, another. Uh, uh, oh, wait, Otto's, O'Reilly's pickup, pardon me. I was really stoked on that. I've got, you know, it's a series of five, even though I think it said eight on one I saw. But uh, I've got the Tesla. I saw the uh, tanker today, the uh, Dragon Slayer, and uh, as well as the Ford Cargo. I could have completed the set, but I don't know if I want to go that far. Yeah, there must be eight, so I don't know what the, the other ones are. This is seven of eight. Tesla. Okay, so those are the other two. Or no, this is weird. So the Lone Star Cabin box trailer aren't featured on this one, which would make six. Matchbox, gotta make it easy for a brother. All right. So, convoy set, guys, is at O'Reilly's if you're into it. Cheers, by the way. Uh, more random stuff I got. What did I get? Oh, well, a couple Teslas. Cybertrucks are beast, bro. Um, yeah, and then the rest of those Caminos. Oh, let me tell you, you smell like a high schooler, like 
Axe body spray. <laughs> but it's a treasure hunt though, so I mean, I'm, I'm a hunter. Treasure hunt. <laughs> that thing is crazy. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, bro. Stoked on this. Soft and durable play mat so I don't hurt myself. One Hot Wheels car included. So it looks like on the back. It was at uh, Walgreens. Half off. I love a good deal. Yeah, this is... This is going to get opened and neatly placed somewhere. Um, dang, guys, I felt like I had something else to show you. I do. Made some more friends um, in regards to the YouTube world and uh, the collector world. So let me shout out Keith Dennis first. Keith Dennis. Bro, Keith knew I needed the Toyota set, so hit him up. I had a, I had a super he needed. A really fair trade, really fair trade. So, growing the car culture stuff. Dude, Land Cruiser, man, that might be the winner there. Uh, of course, the Supra. And then, not to date myself, but man, here in Montana, growing up in high school, saw a lot of these 87, 89 uh, Toyotas. Uh, that was the one. So, that was cool. It was a fair trade, man. Came in a box. It was must have been sandwiched in between 50 Walmart bags, man. Uh, there's nothing going to happen to those. Uh, found on the bottom. I'll keep my note private. Paid very good attention to one of my videos and knew I needed this. Man, and when I looked at it, I didn't know how bad I needed this. It's taking a lot to not open this thing. When I find one in the wild, man, I'm cranking it open. But um, besides how cool that was and how beautiful this is. Keith, man, you're a friend, dude. Um, bro, let me know if you see something lurking around here that you may need. Um, and obviously I'm gonna call on you if, uh, if there's something I can't find, but really appreciate the trade and, and thank your family too, because uh, you know they were the mediators in this, but um, front peg. And of course, I have a peg spot for these. So hyped, bro. Oh. And uh, man, is that, is, is that it? Yeah, that, that, that could be it, man. Bum. Got a kink in my neck. That's it. Peace.